Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the cottage kitchen at the Elliott Homestead. We have some dirty and delicious work to do in the kitchen today. We're gonna pull out the old stuff from the root cellar and make room for some new stuff. After all that work is done, we're gonna make a really delicious Mediterranean pantry salad. But before we do that, I would like to thank Thrive for sponsoring today's video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store that makes healthy living affordable to everybody. This box that I just got delivered, I saved over $48 from standard grocery store pricing. What blew me away when I first started using Thrive was the selection. If you've ever gone to your local health food store and shopped around, you know that it can be really tricky to find specialty items, but not with Thrive. They have it really easily organized by different diets. So whether you're keto or vegan or paleo or like me, pretty much eat it all, you can really tailor what you're shopping for by your diet. The prices are really, really good. And Thrive is adding new products all the time. So the selection just gets bigger and bigger. So when you become a Thrive member, you'll save on every order of organic and sustainable product. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, Thrive will actually price match. Click the link below the video or visit thrivemarket.com forward slash the Elliott Homestead to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. All right, fresh pantry food aside, I need to head down to the root cellar and bring up uh, what's left from last year's garden so that we can assess how much we're growing in the gardens and just make sure that no work is wasted.
The hard part about stored food is that once fresh food starts to come from the garden, it's really difficult to convince yourself to eat the food that's, you know, you've been eating for all of these months. So I have a winter pantry soup that I make often in the winter months, and it's just with stuff that we keep on stock in our pantry because it makes for a really easy meal. And that's kind of what we're making today, just making the salad version of it. So pantry staples, fresh stuff from the garden, really simple, no fuss. I'm gonna go to a little bit more of a fuss today because I made some beautiful bread yesterday and I'm gonna make some really, I call them drenched breadcrumbs. Um, they're not really breadcrumbs, they're more like bread cubes, but they give a lot of life to a salad like this. And it's gonna rely actually on something I keep in my pantry all the time, which is packed anchovies. I get the kind that are packed in oil. The thing about anchovies is they just have this really wonderful umami flavor. It's not going to make this taste overly fishy. They're not overly powerful. They just add this huge base layer of flavor. So I'm gonna melt this little jar of anchovies in some olive oil with some salt and garlic and then pour that over my breadcrumbs because that's going to give me the most flavorful salad. The anchovies will just completely dissolve down into the oil We'll add some of last year's garlic, which we're closing in on using up. That'll just take a minute. In the meanwhile, I have my oven preheating because I am going to break, break these bread, bake the bread cubes so that they're nice and crispy and just drenched with oil and with flavor. One of the staples that I do try to keep around year round is bread because it's just so versatile. And, you know, this time of year, we're kind of coming and going. Maybe we're down at the river or out in the gardens. And so when you have bread, you can do anything. It's also one of the reasons that I keep things like canned tuna fish, good canned tuna fish on hand, is because you can just throw together something without too much forethought. And that's kind of what summer is about in the kitchen. So this isn't so much of a recipe as a concept. A use what you have Mediterranean inspired pantry salad. And that could take on many different forms. So I'm going to be using canned tuna for my protein in here today and some chickpeas that I happen to have on hand. Uh, but you could use almost anything. You could use a nice salami, leftover chicken, a freshly cooked steak, so many options. So simple. While my bread chunks toast, I'm just gonna toss the rest together in the same bowl. So I have some chickpeas, some really beautiful tuna. And now for the goodies that we pulled out of the garden. So some beautiful, fresh, 
spring onions. I love these purple ones. Just color and vibrancy and fresh flavor. And it's just so welcomed. Now the bulk of the salad for this salad is going to be parsley. I love the flavor parsley and I often use it just like you would a salad green. Stems and all. <clears throat> now, these are a really fun ingredient. These are garlic scapes. So when you plant your garlic bulb in the fall, it will produce the bulb on the bottom in the spring and it'll send up these flowers. And if you let these go, they will turn into a flower. So you wanna cut them off so that the garlic will actually form, form the bulb underneath. But these taste just like garlic. They're really beautiful. And you only get them for a really little bit of time. smells so good flavor just flavor flavor on all fronts and the first of the basil so we haven't even hit the first day of summer yet and look at this and this just smells like summer i'm going full leaves on this one this is a big bold salad it's meant to just have flavor punches Okay, marching through here, I want a little zip and I am all out of my homemade pepperoncinis that I make. And so I'm going in for the kill with these ones. And I love these. I also just used the last of my homemade roasted red peppers. Um, they take so much work to make when you do them yourself. Not only do you grow the pepper, but just the roasting and peeling all the skin off and packing them. And I love having them on hand. But after all that work, it's really nice to be able to buy them as well. These are beautiful. And I'm just going to give them a rough chop. When you're making a salad like this, you don't want to cut things too small because you want them to still have body to them. And if you cut them too small, it'll all just kind of smear together. Look at that. Just beautiful. I'm also going to add in some artichoke hearts. These are another really common pantry ingredient. They look beautiful and they have a lot of flavor. You can see very quickly why it's called pantry salad because these are things that we really do. Oh, I can't open it. My hands are all juicy. Ooh. Okay. Last but not least, some olives. I love to keep olives on hand that have the pits inside because the texture is so nice. But when I'm making a salad like this, I'm always really grateful that I have pitted ones on hand as well because it takes a lot of effort to get that pit out and then to be able to cut it nicely for a salad. All right, super simple. Hold the bread out. It's all toasted and fragrant. I'm just letting it hang out for a second. I'm going to add in a load of freshly ground black pepper. Some red wine vinegar. This is going to counter all that 
yummy fat that's in the bread. And then just a little bit of olive oil. A lot of the things I used were packed in oil, so there's already a lot going on, but we just want to make sure it's all nice and drenched. Okay, now I'm going to toss this and then kind of layer my bread on the bottom because I want the bread to soak up all the juices from everything we got going on in here. We said goodbye to some old food. We welcomed in some new food. This makes me so hungry and so excited for the season ahead. Make sure you check out Thrive. There's a link below the video. Remember, if you use that link, you can get 30% off your first order. I think you'll find some things that you really love. I'm gonna eat.